High Sheriff, Deputy Lord Mayor, Chair of the University Council, ladies and gentlemen, graduates. My name is Dr. Moya Geni Galech Resawi Chimaidina Sabertawe, Agir Ceremony Radio Hon, and Enu Previous Call Committee at Window Dewey Sand. It's a great pleasure for me, Ms. Vice Chancellor, to welcome you to this great city of Swansea and to the honorary degrees and conferment of degrees of the University of Wales, Trinity St. David. A very, very warm welcome to you. It's great to see that the Great Hall is full. We have been celebrating for the last two weeks, celebrating the success of the graduands as they leave this historic university. We stand here in our academic civic regalia, linking the traditions of the old medieval collegium with the new world. And we do that to honor you. We do that to pay our regards to your academic success. And we are delighted that we have the opportunity of joining your families and friends today to mark your achievements. Three years have gone past so quickly. I wonder what will you miss as you take your leave from this university? Those long hours in the library, those seminars, the preparations of the dissertations, or those even longer hours in Wine Street? <laughs> That's for you to decide. It's a shame I can't capture with a photograph the smiles or the glee in the eyes of the parents. They're very, very proud of you. It's a real shame that I can't just capture the picture. Can I humbly suggest that there's never been a better opportunity than this afternoon, straight after this convocation, to ask them for that 5,000 pounds check for that new car? I think you'll find that every one of them would say the check would be in the post, because they are very, very proud of you. But let me take this opportunity on your behalf to express our gratitude to your family and to your friends and sponsors who have supported you. It's not easy these days supporting individuals through university education. And we are very grateful to you for the support that you have given. Thank you. Let me also take the opportunity of expressing my personal gratitude to the staff of the faculty and the professional teams of the university who have supported you on your academic career. The excellence of this faculty, the support that you have had, has been outstanding. And may I, on behalf of the University Council and of the management, express my gratitude to you. <laughs> Degree convocations are an opportunity, of course, to celebrate the success of the graduates, but also an opportunity for the institution as a civic institution to mark honorary distinction of worthy men and women who have made an enormous contribution to the life of Wales and also further afield. And today we have the great honor of bestowing fellowship upon two individuals. Others will present them to the university. But can I say on a personal note how delighted I am that here in this great city of Swansea that we today, in the name of Wales, have an opportunity to thank Councillor Robert Francis Davies for his outstanding leadership over so many years to this great city. Here you have an individual who has made an enormous contribution. The clarity of his conviction and the enormous contribution he has made to policy, to innovation, to regeneration and culture is outstanding. And it is good that this city can say thank you for your service. Thank you, what do you I'm also delighted that Ms. Sarah Beale is here. Her leadership across the United Kingdom in construction and the whole area of innovation and of technology has been great. And what a fantastic ambassador for youngsters. And I look forward for receiving the oration on stage later. A very warm welcome to you as well. <laughs> on these occasions, vice chancellors tend to boast on the millions of pounds that have come in every year to their university, and they claim that their university is the best university in Wales or the United Kingdom. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to bore you with platitudes about how great any institution is. I want to just simply talk to you, you the graduates of the university,
that are now leaving. You that will cross this stage, go out through that door and start a fantastic opportunity. We'll really have the opportunity to make a difference. So many of you today will be graduating from business, from management. So many of you are involved in public service. You have an ambassador here of public service already in Councillor Davis. You now have the opportunity to give something back to our communities. Several of you working in health and social care, others involved in skills in the workplace. You are the individuals that can make a difference to our public services and to our communities. Let's face it, we live in a troubled world, a world where there are so many questions, where there are so many uncertainties, where we lack the clarity and the conviction of leaders to say how things are and just to lead. And that is true across public private sectors. We need people who are prepared to stand up for what they believe. We need to train a new generation of thought leaders, of change leaders. We need to create a new generation of youngsters who are prepared to stand up for what is right within our communities and within our public services. That is your opportunity to make a difference. Three years have gone by. Today you gain your BA. That's fantastic news. But do remember, those are only the first two letters of the alphabet. There's so much more to learn within the University of Life. And I'm sure that several of you will become legends within your own CVs. Has Trinity St. David given you space to ask the question, what do I believe in? What's important for me? Has Trinity St. David given you that opportunity within health, within social care, within management, not only to test the theory, but to ask the question, how can I make a difference? The key thing I hope this university has taught you is that you can make a difference. You have the skills, you have the confidence, you have the ability now to go out to offer service. Never, never forget that leaders, good leaders, are people who serve. And when you fail, as you will, there's nothing wrong with failure. Nothing at all. We've all failed. Pick yourself up and start again. And when you do see somebody down at heel, go down and help them up. Because every time you do that, you will gain so much, much more than any PhD from any university can teach you. Learn the value of humility and learn the value of compassion. Good businesses, good business leaders, good health leaders know the value not only of a good mind, but of an honest heart and of supporting people. We live in a world and in communities that we are desperate for people who can show humility and make a difference. Be those confident change makers. Be those honest challengers. Make a difference. All I can say today on behalf of the university is that tomorrow is an opportunity for you to make a difference. Tomorrow is an opportunity for you to create a new business a new enterprise. And when you receive your hundredth million, do remember us. But tomorrow is a new day. It's a new day for you and for all of the creative ideas you have. It's a new day for you who will be nursing to offer support. It's a new day for those of you involved in accounting, in business management, to create new opportunities. Make the most of tomorrow. Because if tomorrow is your day, you will make a difference. As you leave this university, you will now join a guild, a guild of graduates where there are hundreds of thousands all over the world that carry with them on their professional card a single word. And that word is Wales, Cymru, Prifysgol Skol Cymru, a dream do we sent. Today you become ambassadors of this great country and wherever you go, you carry with you the integrity of this country and of this historic university. All I can say to you this morning is, may God bless you and may his countenance always be with you.
wherever you go. Class 2019, go out there. Go out and enjoy. Go out and fail. Go out there and be successful. More than anything, be happy and be confident. I wish you well. I bid you joy. Gorai awen gwirionedd, bydd yn hysbys i aelodau'r brifysgol ac i bawb sy'n bresennol ac yn helu'r ar yr ail adbymtheg o'r ffennaf 2019 yma yn unas abertawau gynlluniadau a diwrnodedig Prifysgol Cymru y Dyndod Dewi Sant i dderbyn i'w priodol raddau bersonau da a'i gair sydd trwy efrydiaeth yn y Prifysgol a trwy ddysg, medr a dyfl barhad wedi telyngu'r cyfryw raddau yn unol a gordyniadau'r cyrff dyfarnu, gyda phob gweddi a dymuniad ar iddyn fwynhau iechyd a hyr hoedl i wasanaethu y cenedlaeth, a'i gwlad dan fendydd y nef. Yna, dy olaini a gyfyd mewn tywyllwch a thywyllwch a fydd fel hanner dydd, a rhai y fyddant o honet ti a deladant yr hyn diffydreoedd. Gorau awen gwirionedd, the best inspiration is truth. Be it known to members of the university and to all here present that authorised congregations of the University of Wales, Trinity St David, are being held here in the city of Swansea on the 17th of July 2019 to admit to their appropriate degrees worthy persons who have, through study at the university and through learning, ability and perseverance, been deemed worthy of such degrees in accordance with the ordinances of the awarding bodies, in the hope that they may be given health and long life to serve their generation and their country under the blessing of heaven. Then shall thy light rise in obscurity and thy darkness be as the noon day, and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Byddai'r hysbys i ilodau'r brifysgol ac i bawb sydd yn bresennol fod Prifysgol Cymru y Drindo Dewi Sant wedi rhoddi'r awdurdod i'r arthro Medwyn Hughes dderbyn i'w graddau fyfyrwyr Prifysgol Cymru y Drindo Dewi Sant a nillau'r raddau yn unol a rheolau'r brifysgol. Gwelir enwau'r myfyrwyr y gallu dderbyn i'w graddau yn y cynulliad hwn ar y rhestru printiedig sydd wedi ei dosbarthu. Let it be known to members of the university and to all who are present that the University of Wales Trinity St David has granted authority to Professor Medwin Hughes to admit to their degrees students of the University of Wales Trinity St David who have qualified for degrees according to the regulations of the university. The names of those students that can be admitted to their degrees at this congregation can be found on the printed lists that have been distributed. And for Hedas East Gang Hetlo, Kavloin Aviti, the Skobol, or Brevis Gold Cymru, a Drindar Dewi Sant, a Enitlas Rav, Athro, and a Kelva the Dai. Honorable Vice Chancellor, I present to you a student of the University of Wales, Trinity St. David, who has gained a degree of Master of Arts, Christina Kelly. And for Dether Sisgang Hetlo, Kavloin Aviti, Discublion, or Brevis Gold Cymru, Adrindot Dewi Sant, Ernestlos Rav, Meister, Mune, Gwynedi, Business. Honorable Vice Chancellor, I present to you students of the University of Wales Trinity St. David who have gained the degree of Master of Business Administration. Dawn Baker Lari. Frederica Anne Brian Cardwell. <laughs> Tammy Michelle Lochan.
Matthew William James Morgan. Bethan Morris. Chua Chi. Michael William Shreve. Matthew Owen Williams. And for the other East Gang Hitler, Kavloy Navi T, this Gabal, or Brevis Gold Comrie, Drindot Dewey Sant, are Inchlov's Rath, Meister, and Gwithorii. Honorable Vice Chancellor, I present to you a student at the University of Wales, Trinity St. David, who has gained the degree of Master of Science, Manjit Biant. And for the other Gang Hetlor, Kavloy Navi T, this Gublion or Brevis Gold Cymru, a Drindod Dewi Sant, a Enitlov's Rath, Meister, Mun Reoliaith, Touristiaith. Honourable Vice Chancellor, I present to you students of the University of Wales Trinity St David who have gained the degree of Master of Tourism Management. Rian Karis Ann Cook. Paige Debbie Ford. <laughs> and for Dallas East Gang Hetlor, Kavloy Navi T, the Skublion or Brevis Gold Cymru, a Drendot Dewey Sant, a Enislav Diploma or Rathedig. Honorable Vice Chancellor, I present to you students of the University of Wales Trinity St. David who have gained a postgraduate diploma. Nor Eliza Bullock. <laughs> Michelle Louise Coffey. <laughs> Alice Evans. Sarah Louise Hubbard. <laughs> Samantha Laura James. <laughs> Jenny Nicola Jones. Zara Raja. <laughs> David William Ivor Rees. <laughs> and for Devis East Gang Hetlor, Kavloy Navi T, the Skublion or Brevis Gold Cymru, a Drindot Dewey Sant, a Enishlaw's Rav. Baglor and a Kelvithadai. Honourable Vice Chancellor, I present to you students of the University of Wales Trinity St. David who have gained a degree of Bachelor of Arts. Arezu Ahmad Concord. <laughs> Louisa McConnell. Ama Alabta. <laughs> Zaid Hakari. <laughs> Kirsty Lee Bevan.
Rahale Haji Ghazi Tarani. Abdullah Rahimi. Solmaz Safari. Abdullah Sultan. Kirsty Williams. Nufnaif Alotaibi. Laura Burns. Corey Ewan Crockett. Louis Kevin Greenwood. Doroto Crook. Laura Launda. Daniel Alex Mahag. Rhea Pitaway. Kyle Rampka. Georgia Grace Reynolds. Matthew Rothwell. Tyler John Rowland. Nikita Gabrielle Temple. Amy Williams. Michael Williams. Regan Cartwright. Patrick Connery. Jeros Doverston. Molly May Durham Evans. Chelsea Luca. Ruth Violet Melton. Catherine Michelle Middleton. Davina Lucy Morehouse. Victoria Helen Phillips. Rachel Rice.
Edward Sainsbury. Aaron Jeffries. Lucy Miles. Andrew Booth Jones. Francesca Biscosi. Jolene Ely Davis. Ruth Amasi, Leandra Delameda Neto. John Bradley Herdeman Edwards. Bethan Harve Johnson. <laughs> Vivian Paloma Khalidi. <laughs> Eleni Zanthopoulou. Philippa Victoria Brown. Charlotte Irvine. Liam Coombe. Victoria Dawes. Rafiq George. <laughs> Ellie Louise Hiscock. <laughs> Lucy Johnson. Wink Say Law. Elise Lewis. Thomas Paul McDermott. Emily Jessica May McDonough. Laura Jane Rubridge. <laughs> Alice Thomas. <laughs> Keris Leanne Werwood. Sultan Rahman. <laughs> Rodri Robert Davis. <laughs> Jack Deere. <laughs> Gregory John Evans. Owen Lake. <laughs> Samantha Mannering. <laughs> Is
Islam Uddin Satir. Jamie Ian Thomas. Joseph John Williams. Stephen Morgan. Darren Agnew. Line Elvira Rosenskjold. Demi Lee Bevan. Ewan Thomas John Bond. Jeremy Michael Brian Evans. Sophie Jane Fry. Christian Jones. Tia Lee Jones. Saul Jethro Thomas. Jake Tidley. Lori White. Sophie Winter. Ashley Seaton. Evan Thomas Peter Stanton. Phoebe Ann Adams. Joshua Dylan Bradshaw. Jayan Brennan. Callum John Allen Buckley. Jonathan Ayrton Escott. Timothy Vladimirovich Georgievsky. Jordan Gibbs. Luke Dylan Jenkins. Kiana Louise Jones. Taylor Keeley Jones. Samuel Maurer. Sophie Leanne McCarley. John, Luke John Moody. Michael Joseph Neuker. Kyle Michael Powney.
Callum Luke Pugh. Rhys Surringer. Dolan Paul James Ward. Theo Wertelhock. Benjamin Thomas Agala Watts. Stacey Marie Brown. Luke Michael Harris. Jessica Morris. Kaylee Jane Davis. Thomas William Fowler. Riley Harper. Rosie Mai Hopkins. Jane Marie John. Christian Reynolds. Tima Obu Amari. Elizabeth Tompkinson. And for Delicis Gang Hitler, Kavloin Aviti, this Goblion or Brevis Gold Cymru, a Drindod Dewi Sant, I initialed Rav, Baglor, and Gwithore. Honourable Vice Chancellor, I present to you students of the University of Wales Trinity St David who have gained a degree of Bachelor of Science. Fionn Jenkins. Karen Leslie Reese. Lisa Roden. Jonathan Wyatt. Muna Hassan Balbaki. <laughs> Chloe Angharad Barnes. <laughs> Rachel Louise Bennett. Catherine Jane Bolton. <laughs> Jessica Claire Hayne Griffith. <laughs> Francesca Louise Langdon Jones. Emily Lewis. <laughs> Jessica Rachel Lewis. <laughs> Caresia Madswimbo.
Yasmina Rambate. Emily May Berezi. George Boyle. Ellen Harve Evans. Thomas Paul Evans. Jonathan Farmer. Jonathan Hugh Griffiths. Anthony Louis Hughes. Shauna Sky Hunt. Alad John. Tia Alana Kimber. Dennis Laranjinha. Megan Wynn Matthews. Courtney Page Morgan. Ellis Edward Hilliard Park. Amy Lauren Sadler. Rebecca Ann Sanford. Pridian David Williams. Ryan Winnie. And for Devil Seas Gang Hechlaw, Kavloin Avi Teed, Ziskoblian, or Brevis Gold Cymru, or Drindod Dewey Sant, or Enislav Rav Silvoin. Honourable Vice Chancellor, I present to you students of the University of Wales Trinity St David who have gained a foundation degree. Sarah Jane Abraham. <laughs> Nicola Ann Landers. And for Devos Iskang Hetlo, Kavloin Aviti, this Goblion, or Brivisko Cymru, or Drindod Dewey Sant, or Enislaw Diploma Avisk Yuk. Honourable Vice Chancellor, I present to you students of the University of Wales Trinity St David who have gained a Diploma of Higher Education. Tambudzai Chipamahadze. Maria Griffiths. Sky Zoe Jones. Karen Hazel Lyle. Halima Nankia. (laughs) 
Sabah Rajay. Winnet Sabanda. Sophie Webb. Samantha Lee Witter Jones. And for Dethers Eastgang Hetlor, Kavloin Aviti, this Goblion or Brevis Gol Cumri, a Drindar Dewey Sant, our Enislav Dostoskreff, Avis Yuk. Honourable Vice Chancellor, I present to you students of the University of Wales Trinity St David who have gained a certificate of higher education. Mokbul Ali. <laughs> Runeba Bagum. Alan James Stewart Blackley. Shawnee Alex George. Tamsin Suraya Beverly Hickson. Ruben, Ruby Reese. Paulina Tibinkowska. Khadija Udin. Rumi Akhtar. <laughs> Ava Karina Castro Jara. Charlene Jade Clifford. <laughs> Maria Frances Elizabeth Crick. <laughs> Candy Davies. Kirsty Ellen Edwards. <laughs> Nikia Lewis. <laughs> Sophie Laura Michael. Laura Jane Nettle. Anna Nicole Price. Ethan Joseph Reed. Nikita Ann Reese Jones. <laughs> Elsa Joe Rain. <laughs> Amanda Thomas. <laughs> Amy
Amy Marie Williams. Jorna Ali. Shilpi Ali. Hina Begum. Shafna Begum. Shapla Begum. Shalina Monawara Begum. Kim Hai Chin. Nishat Tasneem Taranam Chowdhury. Kashada Akfa Chowdhury. Indra Gumari Gurong. Kaleda Johora. <laughs> Stephanie Kim Jones. <laughs> Sania Karim. Abdul Khalik. <laughs> Rohima Kandaka. <laughs> Nilufa Kanom. Mosama Majana Katun. <laughs> Laba Man Maha Jahan. <laughs> Kaylee Ann Rose Owens. Shamsur Rahman. <laughs> Kandakar Amedur Raza. <laughs> Anila Shreitha. Asma Chowdhury. <laughs> Natalie Jane Thomas.
Samad Udin. Jamie Lee Toole. Fazona Hussein. And for Devos Isgang Hetlo, Kavloi Naviti, the Scublion or Brevis Gold Cymru, or Drindar Dewi Sant, our Enishlav Diploma, Kenneth Lythol Yuk. Honourable Vice Chancellor, I present to you students of the University of Wales Trinity St David who have gained a higher national diploma. Meg Adelaide Ford. Ben McNamara. Charlie Michelle Dyson. Charles Clark. And for Devos Isgang Hetlo, Kavloin Aviti, this Goblion, or Brevis Gold Cymru, or Drindod Dewi Sant, or Enislav Dostusgref Ganolworth. Honourable Vice Chancellor, I present to you students of the University of Wales Trinity St David who have gained an intermediate certificate. Kirsty Lee Baker. Sharon Ann Bowen. Carol Rebecca Hopkins. Dana Courtney Loretta James. Deborah Marshall. Courtney Drew Morgan. Jane Marie O'Sullivan. Emma Louise Thomas. <laughs> Catherine Julie Tyree. <laughs> Emma Louise Whiteley. And for Devos Siskang Hetlor, Kavloi Naviti, this Goblion or Brevis Gold Cymru, or Drindar Dewi Sant, Enislaus Rav, Meister Mune Gwynedd Business. Honourable Vice Chancellor, I present to you students of the University of Wales, Trinity St David, who have gained the degree of Master of Business Administration in London. Vivek Vasu. Numan Nimul Basha. <laughs> and for Devos Iskang Hetlo, Kavloi Naviti, this Goblion or Brevis Gold Cymru, or Drindar Dewi Sant, or Enishlav Dostusgref, Adisk Yuk. Honourable Vice Chancellor, I present to you students of the University of Wales Trinity St David who have gained a certificate of higher education. Abdallah Shekadin Abdella. <laughs> Foizal Ahmed. <laughs> Akbor Ali.
Nashreen Ali. Aleha Begum. Sabia Begum. Rezal Chowdhury. Abu Ahmed Yusuf. Fulmadina Begum Hanan. Thonuma Begum Hassan. Sultana Islam. Shahida Begum Mia. Suhel Mia. Kirsty Louise Mitchell. Actor Rosaman Kuraishi. <laughs> Mehek Saeed. <laughs> Osman Ahmed Karain Solma. Mohon Udin. Rajon Udin. Muhammad Ali Akbar. graduands which have just been presented to the university, would you please stand so I can formally admit you to your degrees. I would love to admit you all. Unfortunately, it's just the graduands. <laughs> you are most welcome to join the university at any time. But now we move to formally accepting you to the university. Der Bernard Hich Gradai, Ach Diplomai Priodol, Aki Hort Vrainiai, a Gradai, Arkamusterai Hani, and Enu, Privas Colcumri, a Dream Dot Dewey Sant. Boydek Oban was done, Ross Oi the Kandra Dev, I Privas Gol Andra. Congratulations, you are now graduates and ambassadors of Wales.
Please be seated. And for Dallas East Gang Hetlo, Comrade Doy VT, the Scobliano Brave School, Comrade Drindo Dewey Sant, Na, the Dinton and Bressonol, and a ceremony hon, on seen Gemoisi there been Kemoister. My Henway, Weddy, a Kavnodi, and Ganalog. Honourable Vice Chancellor, I commend to you students of the University of Wales, Trinity St David, who are not present at this ceremony, but have duly qualified for an award. The names of these students are recorded centrally. Honourable Vice-Chancellor, I present to you a student who has won a university bursary. Gwaba Dr. Jenny Woodman, the De Dr. Jenny Woodman Award for Outstanding Achievement. And it goes to Kirsty Bevan. A very warm welcome to you all. My name is Becky Ricketts and I'm your newly elected Group President and Interim Swansea Campus President for the upcoming academic year. It has been a true pleasure to be one of your elected officers this year in Carmarthen already and I'm excited to continue the role over the next year. I am here on behalf of Trinity St David Student Union to congratulate each and every one of you on your fantastic achievement. While we may not have had the pleasure of meeting you all in person, please know that we've been working hard behind the scenes to support you and improve your experiences. Whether that be holding regular pop-ups in the business campus to advertise our work and opportunities for you to get involved, through to writing our annual quality report on elements of the student experience, letting us know the things that you care about so we can work with the university to change them for the better. Now that you are soon to be our newest graduates of UWTSD, things will be just that little bit different. You will hopefully have more time for those hobbies that you maybe just couldn't quite find the time for during your studies. Some of you will be able to spend more time with your family and your loved ones without assignments and placements taking over your timetables. Some of you might even find the time for that well-earned night out. However your student life panned out for you, there are a few things that I'd like to share with you in the hope that they stick with you as you depart from UWTSD and into your future. Point one, continue to care. This year, as students, you spoke up about the things that matter to you, both as students and as individuals. Campus facilities, the Me Too campaign, a people's vote on Brexit, sustainability, period poverty were all student-led issues, and the university have listened and begun to make steps to change this for the better. Some of your studies and disciplines revolve around care, health, and the sharing of skills, and these are all messages that we aim to employ as a student union. It's our job in the Students' Union to fight for your rights as students, and we don't fight for you, we fight together. Point two, continue to speak up. As you leave us as successful graduates, I want you to consider the virtues and morals you've kept with you in your time here with us, fighting for the things that matter. It has been said before, and I'll say it again, it has never been more important to use your voice and continue to engage with the things that matter and shape our society for the better. Shape our environment, shape politics, shape people, or shape the future. As entrepreneurs, members of the public service, and graduates of nursing, we need you to be leaders and ambassadors and show people that we are a family of graduates that care and we are prepared to act upon it in any way that we can. Speak up for those that cannot and be an advocate for the disadvantaged. Point three, continue to be yourself. As a union, we are proud to have represented you in all kinds of ways. As a president and a representative, I am so proud to see you sitting before me in your caps and your gowns. Having blossomed into intelligent, confident and forward-thinking individuals, ready to take on whatever life may throw at you. Today is your day to acknowledge your setbacks, but bask in your success. 
I can say with almost certainty that there'll be people in this room that have juggled part-time jobs, children, traveling, caring for a family member, poor mental health, and so much more. But despite those, you succeeded. You've crossed the stage and crossed the path into your future, wherever that may take you. For those of you leaving us to venture into the big wide world of work, we at Trinity St. David Students' Union wish you all the very best of luck in the world. And for those of you that are going on to further study, we hope to see you after the summer. A huge, huge congratulations to you all. Wear your cap and gown with pride. And remember that the University of Wales, Trinity St. David, will always belong to you. Jochen Vaur. Lord Mayor, High Sheriff, Chair of the University Council, Vice-Chancellor, graduands, colleagues and guests, it gives me great pleasure in this afternoon's convocation to introduce the first of our two fellows, Miss Sarah Beale. Sarah is the Chief Executive Officer of the Construction Industry Trading Board, the CITB. She has been employed at the organisation for over 14 years and held the current Chief Executive role over the last three years. Now, before we consider Sarah's many achievements, it is worth first reviewing the employment sector she serves, and more importantly, the environment in which she operates. The construction sector is probably one of the most visible of industrial sectors in our society. In fact, it underpins our economy and society. Few sectors have such an impact on communities across the whole of the UK, or indeed have the same potential to provide large numbers of high-skilled, well-paid jobs. The construction sector reaches every corner of the United Kingdom and touches each of our lives. It is fundamental to our economy and building the 
building upon our economy and our society. The homes we live in, the schools and hospitals we rely upon, the offices and factories we work in, the roads we travel on, and the energy infrastructure that keep the wheels of industry turning. Its products are all around us and impacts upon everything that we do. It is one of the largest sectors in the UK economy. It has an annual turnover of £370 billion, contributing £138 billion in value added to our economy. And importantly, it employs 3.1 million people. That's 9% of the UK workforce. Sarah leads the Construction Industry Training Board, a body which has been in existence since 1964 and is dedicated to ensuring the construction workforce has the right skills for now and the future. Its mission is quite simple, to attract and support the development of people to construct a better Britain. Sarah started her working life in the finance sector, but always had a keen interest in training and development. Prior to joining the CITB, she worked in a number of commercial and not-for-profit organizations. She has led on a number of transformational projects, including company mergers, major systems developments, and her initial role in the CITB was in finance with rapid progression to the post of finance manager and subsequently to a number of key strategic roles. National assessment manager, head of finance and planning, head of overseas service, head of customer services. At each and every juncture, Sarah excelled, leading to her appointment in 2014 as chief financial officer and Corporate Performance Director, prior to a current appointment to lead the organization as Chief Executive. To lead the organization, however, at a time of the greatest change in its history. What the chronology I've just outlined does not identify is the environment into which Sarah stepped as CEO an environment which demanded the organization to completely transform and reinvent itself. Many would comment that she was probably handed the worst of hospital passes. In her role, Sarah has led the transformation to create a resilient, sustainable organization. Her three-year turnaround plan, Vision 2020, has created an organization highly responsive, highly responsive and accountable to industry. Her vision addresses and influences the skills needs of the industry. Some will be aware that the Construction Industry Training Board is supported by industry through a contribution of an employment levy. Sarah's mandate for the future is very, very clear. Levy in, skills out. And, talking of levy payments, the environment in which she operates in had a further curved ball thrown at it when the UK government, with little consultation, announced the requirements for employers to pay an apprenticeship levy. Now, for many construction organisations, an extra burden, as they already pay a CITB levy. Despite all these challenges, Sarah has steered the organization through extremely turbulent times and succeeded in developing a leaner, highly responsive organization. In her role, her achievements are numerous, but today we honor her on two other fronts. Firstly, as the University of Wales, the University of Wales Trinity St. David, we recognize her achievements for her contribution to skills development in Wales. A key component of her vision is the creation of individual nation councils for England, Scotland, and Wales. 
Within Wales, she sought an alternative mechanism for the delivery of skills and innovation for the construction industry. The result has been the creation, in partnership with our university, of the Construction Wales Innovation Centre. This unique and innovative partnership provides, on a hub and spoke basis across the whole of Wales, training solutions for new and emerging technologies. The university's dual sector status enables delivery of skills at all levels, including the development of higher apprenticeship programmes and addresses skills shortages at technical and professional levels. The centre major, majors on innovation and sustainability and has already engaged with over 700 employers. It currently hosts partnerships with leading UK construction companies responsible for the delivery of multi-million pound projects, including schools engagement, immersive learning and experiential learning. This unique development would not have occurred without Sarah's drive and vision. And I know she was particularly pleased to have helped open in 2018 the centre's unique hub within the university's Swansea Innovation Quarter in SA1. We also acknowledge, by way of her fellowship, the tremendous passion she has for inclusivity and diversity in the industry. Sarah is keen to use her national position to influence and change the industry for the better. She has focused on a key range of issues. One of particular interest has been ensuring the support for mental health in the sector. And we must not underestimate the impact that that has, that has had. In respect of inclusivity, she continuously and dogmatically challenges industry to ensure appropriate representation and employment of individuals from a BAME and LGBT background and also for those individuals with a disability. She also tirelessly strives for greater representation for females in construction, in a sector which is traditionally viewed as a male-dominated employment sector. Always seeking ways to encourage engagement and removing barriers for women to enter the sector, Sarah was keen to support her team in Wales to work with industry to find a solution. This led to a very successful CITB International Women's Day in construction, which saw over 600 girls from schools across Wales engage in and experience potential career roles in construction. To conclude, we recognise her many achievements for services to enterprise her impact upon skills development in Wales and generally for making a difference. Andre Davis is going to explore the Voina VD, Sarah Beal, Prive Vice Rector of CITB, and Gimbraud Andre Davis, or Bilaskol. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and firstly, thank you for that introduction, um, far more generous um, than I deserve, I'm quite sure. I apologise in advance for not addressing um, you at all in Welsh. My fear was that I'd murder your beautiful language, so I didn't, I didn't attempt it at all. I'm very conscious as well that I'm one of a number of speakers now that is standing between yourselves and what will hopefully be some fantastic celebrations this afternoon. Uh, so I will cut my address quite short. Um, and if you'd allow me, I just want to make uh, two large points. Firstly, to the university, a huge, huge thank you for this honour. I am standing here feeling somewhat un unworthy. Um, but I thank you nonetheless, um, and I commit to making sure that I continue to support you uh, in any way I can. Thank you. Um, it's my privilege to work with the university, as has just been said, as a partner in my working life. 
and we choose our partners very carefully. Um, and having a partner that has supported over 25,000 learners is nothing short of brilliant. Not only that, but a partner that values how it does that, really placing the learner at the heart of everything I have seen it do um, and develop. And also a partner that wants to continually innovate, not just in what education and courses it offers and develops, but also in how it teaches them, being really open-minded to the new and modern methods of teaching that we have out there, and increasing the inclusivity and breadth that's offered. So thank you very much for that too. My second area is really to the graduates. This is your day, and a massive congratulations to all of you. You must be very, very proud um, of everything that you've achieved. You certainly should be. Um, I've got an absolute privilege of a job where I get to see people starting and developing their careers um, from all different backgrounds and from all different starting positions. Be that a 16-year-old child starting on an apprentice and entering the workforce for the very first time, or a 60 and 70-year-old deciding to have a career change very often in order to give something back to the community or the sector that has served them and they've worked in throughout what is often a varied career. But I can honestly say I don't think that there is a more exciting time to either embark on a new career or consider joining the workforce. We really are, arguably, um, we are entering the fourth industrial revolution and the pace of change that I can see is immense and that means that we're all going to have to continually upskill and be open-minded but it also means that we're all going to be afforded fantastic opportunities some of which we can't even imagine yet and yet they're just around the corner as I say I've had a fantastic career and I myself have been afforded lots and lots of different opportunities be that for new roles and career changing, um, or in my continual education, which, as I've grown into my role, have valued more and more through that time. But what I'd like to leave you with is some advice that a fantastic mentor um, once uh, gave me. Uh, it's in two parts, and the first part, he told me, never to give myself a ceiling. There are opportunities out there that you cannot imagine and you can always achieve far, far more than you believe you can. And the second one is, whatever you choose to do, try to add value and choose something that you enjoy doing. If possible, have fun throughout your career. I'll leave you there, but I just wish you every happiness and every success in what lies ahead in whatever you choose to do. Thank you for listening. And we did this East Gang Hathor. Question, a friend I. My friend, personally me, Gael Kevloino VT, a King Horod, Robert Francis Davis, Honourable Vice-Chancellor, guests and friends, it is a personal privilege to present to you Councillor Robert Francis Davis. Councillor Davis is currently Cabinet Member for Investment, Regeneration and Tourism, having served on Swansea Council, representing the Morriston area, since 1983. His early years, well, Councillor Roberts is very much a Swansea man through and through. Born in April 1948, it's a very different Swansea to the one we see today. Roberts' early years were spent in the Elysium buildings in High Street, where his mother was stewardess of the Elysium Labour Hall and Institute. So clearly, Robert is no stranger to the stage Maybe that was a good preparation for political life. From a young age, from the age of four, the family moved to Penlan in Swansea, where Robert attended Cluid Primary School, followed by Penlan Multilateral School, the forerunner of the modern comprehensive school, before leaving school at the age of 15. Robert quickly went into business life. From 1963 to 1978, 
He worked at Struel Brothers Wholesalers, where he ended up as a menswear buyer before branching out on his own in 1978 when he opened his own business, Robert Benson Menswear, with branches in High Street and on the Kingsway. Robert continued to, wear, uh, to run this business until its closure in 1996. Now, although Robert has had a successful business career in the private sector, it is his service to the public sector that truly defines Robert's life and commitment to Swansea. In 1980, he was appointed to serve as a magistrate in Swansea. Then, in 1983, he stood for election to the council as a Labour candidate in the Morriston Ward. And now, 36 years later, he still represents Morriston and is a passionate advocate for all things Morristonian, particularly the Grade 1 listed non-conformist cathedral of Wales, Morriston Tabernacle Chapel. In 2001, Robert served as Lord Mayor of the City and County of Swansea. From 2002 to 2004, he served as Deputy Leader of the City Council. And in what has been and continues to be a long and varied career in public office, Robert has held many positions on the Council, including Deputy Chair of Finance, Deputy Chair of Housing, Chairman of Economic Development, Chairman of Leisure, and whilst Chairman of Leisure, he was also Chairman of the Council of Museums in Wales. The Swansea we see today is a far cry from the war-ravaged town of 70 years ago of Robert's birth. And much of that transformation can be traced back to his efforts and the efforts of his colleagues in the City Council. He was a lead member for bringing the National Waterfront Museum to, to Wales and remains a director of that wonderful museum. He was a lead member for delivering the Wales National Pool in Swansea. And he's still a director of that fantastic asset today. He was lead member for the delivery of the Liberty Stadium, home to the Swans and to the Ospreys, and served as a director of the Swansea Stadium Management Committee. Now, currently, Robert is the cabinet member for investment, regeneration, and tourism. And in this role, he is working on, as part of a strong council team, the most ambitious redevelopment plan seen in Swansea since the immediate aftermath of the Second World War. New developments include a new indoor arena, the regeneration of the city centre, and the proposed skyline development, which is set to transform Kilvey Hill with a new cable car, luge runs, and a zip line, along with a restaurant giving amazing views over the spectacular Swansea Bay. Robert has also been instrumental in attracting Heritage Lottery Fund support for the Havod Copper Quarter to develop the new Penderin Distillery Visitor Centre. And few can have failed to notice in the last few weekends, his tourism portfolio has once again brought the Wales Air Show to Swansea, attracting over a quarter of a million visitors to Swansea's magnificent bay over the two days, and has placed Swansea's Singleton Park on the list of must-play outdoor venues for bands such as the Stereophonics, who attracted over 35,000 visitors to our city. Robert's cabinet role ensures he's never far from public attention, with a portfolio which covers business, promotion, and inward investment, city projects and major developments, the waterfront and marina promotion, culture, the arts and galleries, events and tourism, our healthy nightlife and purple flag award, heritage, sustainability, libraries, poverty reduction, science, sports facilities, the list goes on. But possibly most importantly to us today is his lead on university collaboration. Despite this very busy and demanding council portfolio, Robert recognizes the importance of maintaining externality and connectivity. And in addition to many board and committee memberships previously mentioned, he also represents the council on the boards of the National Association of British Market Authorities, Swansea Regeneration Partnership, Swansea Business Improvement Limited, and the Welsh Books Council. Through and through, Robert Francis Davis can be truly described as Mr. Swansea. But he also enjoys a very happy family life. And it's good to see Suzanne and his daughters Rebecca and son Andrew and granddaughter Nia here today, as well as 
uh, some close colleagues from the council. It is Robert's lifelong commitment to the city and more importantly, the people of Swansea that we recognize here today. This commitment shows no sign of abating as Robert continues to serve his ward and this city with great distinction and pride. Pride born out of a love for the people of this great city and a desire to see Swansea once again emerge as a globally leading city of culture, of innovation and of learning. Andri Davis is Kanghetlo. Kavloinav E.T. A Kanghorid Robert Francis Davis. And Gamraud Obrivisko Kamri Adrinda Dewi Sant. Honourable Vice Chancellor, I present to you Ro Councillor Robert Francis Davis. Can I thank uh, Professor Ian Walsh for those kind words? I, I can't say I recognize myself there. <clears throat> I came into uh, politics first in um, 1976 when I went to the crypt in Morriston Tabernacle and I heard the then director of planning saying um, how he was going to transform Swansea in particular, the docks in Swansea. Now, some of the older people here today might remember Swansea docks. The police would only walk around in twos. It was run down. Um, it wasn't a safe place to walk around. And this director of planning who had borrowed um, a Land Rover and drove down to the south of France to Port Grimaud, coming back with these ideas of how he's going to turn the docks into a maritime quarter. There were 17 people in the crypt in Tabernacle listening to this public consultation. I was one of them and I thought, this man is mad. Who would want to live in the docks? Who would want to work in the docks? But the more he described it, the more inspired I got. Um, and in 1976, my daughter was born, 1979, my son was born, and listening to this man, I'm thinking, how do we make Swansea a better place? And in 1983, I stood for council uh, as a Morristonian, a, a Morriston monkey, as we're called, or uh, a true Swansea Jack. Uh, I thought, well, let's make Swansea a better place. And I probably then is when my education started. I probably didn't learn a lot in Penland multilateral or when I look back, we had great teachers. Perhaps I should have listened more. Um, and who would have thought if they would see me with, a, with the, the hat and gown in this marvelous Brangwyn Hall, they would be amazed. But I'm proud to be part of Swansea Council we had an act of parliament to put a barrage across the River Tower. You know, the graduates today won't remember the River Tower without water in it. When I was young, there were supermarket trolleys in it and mud. Twice a day, second highest rise and fall of the tide, it would be empty of water. But we put a barrage across. First council to get an act of parliament to do that. You take it for granted today, it's full of water didn't happen by accident. I look at the Swansea Valley, it was a moonscape, copper slag, nothing would grow. Now we have the largest urban forest in Britain. You take it for granted. Um, the Enterprise Zone, one of the most successful Enterprise Zones in Britain. Tens of thousands of people working in that valley, where in the Industrial Revolution, life expectancy was 41. <clears throat> but now it's a green lung of Swansea. There are salmon back in the river. There are people living around that docks. It's a maritime quarter. That man who inspired me and inspired others was quite right to see the yachts in our marina, to see people living around that. We take it for granted. People say nothing happens in Swansea. Well, sometimes people need to open their eyes. 
I'm proud to have worked on attracting the National Waterfront Museum. I'm proud to have worked with the team in Swansea to attract the Wales National Pool and see Olympians coming out of Swansea. <coughs> and the Liberty Stadium, I was never more proud when the Swans, who could have gone out of the Football League, unless it was for that last game against Hell, when a Morriston boy, James Thomas, scored a hat-trick. And then we got to the dizzy heights of the Premier Division for seven years. The value of that was a global market of over a billion people watching Swansea on a weekly basis. Never underestimate the power of sport and the power of the arts. But I was proud as well to see the refurbishment of the Glen Vivian Art Gallery and looking at the Havard Copper Works. When I came on the council, there was a minute to council that the Basque Bridge that was put there in 1901 would be restored. That was 1983. And this weekend, that Baskill Bridge is gone away for restoration. And we are restoring two grade two listed buildings at Howard. And the Pandare Distillery will go there. The arena is underway. Um, it's a digital arena, making Swansea a smart city. And for the graduates here today, um, what better place to live than in Swansea? Now, it's not me saying that. There was a, an article in the Times last week where it said, Swansea is the second happiest place in Britain to live. First was Brighton, so we've got a little way to go, but not a long way. We're the second happiest place to live. Cardiff was, I think it was 19th or 9th from the bottom. So when they say Cardiff has everything, they don't have the happiness. So I could go on, but I was brought up in this Brangwyn Hall, and I was told when people start looking at the Brangwyn panels, the um, Commonwealth panels, because there's so much to see, the flora and the fauna in those panels, where more people are looking at the panels and looking at you and listening. It's time to shut up and sit down. <laughs> so with that, I will. But I would wish the graduates every success. Stay in Swansea. Be happy in Swansea. Uh, create your businesses in Swansea, whatever you wish to do. More importantly, be happy. Thank you. Vice Sheriff, uh, Deputy Lord Mayor, Vice Chancellor, Honorary Fellows, uh, the Academic and Support Staff for the University. Granny ones, many congratulations. I'm not going to keep you too long because I know where you want to be in Wine Street. But the reality is, many congratulations on your achievement. It's fantastic what you have been able to achieve. One thing I want to say this afternoon. It's so great to see the cultural diversity we have in this student congregation today. People who come from different backgrounds, different cultures, different faiths, and different beliefs. I am proud that this university encourages the dialogue between peoples of different cultures, and that's the way that this country needs to go so that we can develop <laughs> so we can develop communities where people work and live together and mutually respect each other and a world also where people don't see each other as enemies but brothers and sisters as a part of the global community. Many congratulations to you all. I'm very proud of you. You're a credit to yourselves. You're a credit to this university. And above all, you're a credit to Wales and to the nations that you represent. Diolch